Hi everyone. So I just got back from work and um, it's been off the race um, finding or hunting down summers with um, PK exec um, vulnerability, which is pretty cool one. Um, well, I thought it would be cool to also within my home environment showcase um, probably if this is going to work offline some of my VMs and as well as some of my cloud servers. Um, well, enough with the chili challenge. Um, let's get right into the meat of this stuff. So, in case you're wondering, what is PK Exec uh, uh, um, on Linux? It's something which you'd always find, and the whole concept about PK Exec is um, is actually something relating to maybe a policy kit that helps maybe the control system white privilege in a Unix or Linux environment and what how it does its job. It's basically provides an organized way for non-privileged processes to communicate with privileged processes. So let's say um, a user with non-super user privilege needs to execute a binary or do something. PK exec comes in the picture and try to create that interface for that to happen creating the communication interface. It is also possible to use, actually, to execute command with elevated privilege using the command pkexec. So obviously, uh, this is part of the poll kit, uh, about pkexec is what we'll be going after today. And then we're going to see um, how we can use it as a privilege escalation technique. On our YouTube channel, we've got a couple of videos uh, showcasing Windows privilege escalation, as well as Linux privilege escalation. So let's try to see if we can maybe do something cool with this. I'm going to start with my digital ocean um, server here. And um, over here, if I list the content of this directory, I've got a couple of these exploits, but I'm going to be working with this one. Made a bit modification um, just so it can probably try to work in the environment, but although it didn't work in this, so I'm going to probably drop into um, CVE, go into that directory. Um, over here, we can see it's been compiled. Uh, this I got from um, the GitHub report. I have to give credit to. Uh, Bedav. So this is over here. I'll leave the link in the description of the video if you want to grab this and try in your own environment. So compile this using just a make command and I have it over here. So but before I execute this binary, I'm going to drop into a lower privilege user. So I'm going to sue. So this is a lower privilege user. So ID over here, we can see this is me. Although I belong to the pseudo group, but it's lower privilege. So I'm going to try and see if I can maybe execute this. But before doing that, let's say we ls uh, tag l on uh, probably user. Um, you know, my, my terminal is a bit messed up. Being then pk exec. Let's find the permission of this binary. So if you're familiar with Linux privilege uh, um, privileges, you should probably understand what this is. So we have the user, we have the group, and we have the global. So the problem lies in the fact that everybody, everybody, the whole world can actually execute uh, this binary. So we can see that over here. So what happened is that a uh, user can take this and based on an exploit in the whole program or package, there's an update uh, to fix this. It's going to spin this up to elevate privilege. So to do that, I've already compiled the binary over there. So I will try to see if it works. It should give me a root shell. If it doesn't, it will try out uh, uh, the usage of the PK exec. So let's try that. I'm going to paste this over here. Okay, and try to see that. So you see, this didn't run. Obviously, this server is not vulnerable to this exploit. I'd also tried. Um, this one compiled. Uh, there is as well as um, no, let me go back a step. Um, okay, I think. Uh, okay, let me just exit this and fall back into this. All right, great. Uh, let me go back a step. Uh, I want to show something. So there is this PK check. I tried this to check already. Um, although I it was initially, but it was passed quickly. So as well as this didn't run. So we'll move away from this. Our next target will be my Mac. This is my MacBook, which is also sitting in my environment. So we will attempt this on my MacBook. So we're going to grab this and see if I P W D. Uh, this had been oh. Did I kill the shell? Okay, I think the shell is dead. Uh, 
we will spin another shell and authenticate into the Mac. Um, this won't seem like it's frozen, maybe because the Mac when you sleep. Okay, so it's back. All right. So if I do the ID, we can see I am the user hacker. Okay, great. I'm just not buying all this or that gibberish there. Um, over here, I'm going to go to the directory where that thing is sitting. So I think it's in the downloads. Okay, um, in downloads, I've got uh, CVE. So that's the directory and that's the exploit. It's been compiled. So once again, just to check if I ls like L on uh, might not be the same uh, in the Mac. So we can see here we've got the PK. We've got the PK build, PKG build. So obviously this is not going to run in this environment. Just want to showcase this. But I had I'm, I'm working on um, um, a modification on this binary to see if I can probably use the same technique to exploit same program on the Mac that does the same thing. Okay. Um, so let's go to. The other targets the next target will be my ubuntu this is my ubuntu uh, at this level it is patched but i just realized that i need to enforce uh, uh, um, um, maybe uh, an alternative security measure to keep it secure because i realized that it is vulnerable so in here if i cd to cve and if i run this on the mac you will see currently um who am i I'm just cybersetric ID. Um, I'm not root, so you can see that. So, but if I run this binary, you will see that it elevates instantly to root ID. I am now the effective user ID is now root, which is pretty bad because I I ju had just patched this Ubuntu server. But um, uh, a better preventive measure to keep this safe while I'm waiting for maybe a complete patch to fix this problem for me. If I ls stack l on user being a pk exec, um, we can see the same permissions problem. So a better way to prevent this would be maybe just use the ch mode uh, 0755. Strip off that execute a permission from uh, the group and others. But the problem is that might get into a couple of problems. You might not be able to run some programs, certain programs. So, but if you're willing to go that route or take that risk, it's a pretty smooth way to go about this. Just to keep it secure, pending when this whole saga thing is over. Okay, so the last one I'll be testing, we already see that my Mac is vulnerable. Uh, my Sorry, my Ubuntu is vulnerable. I'm not going to make these changes. After this video, I'll try to patch this again. If it doesn't, then I'll just probably strip that thing off that thing just in case. So let's go over to Kali. Okay, this is Kali. Um, and we're going to clear the screen. Uh, let's... Uh, I'm not sure it's in there. I'm just going to remove that CVE stuff. Okay. Let me try to see if I can host uh, this somewhere here. Sorry. Uh, and move this over. So uh, I'll try to... Uh, I'll try to move the compiled program over there. So let me do Python, uh, probably sudo. So, okay, Python 3. Let me use a Python. Updog would have solved this problem, but Python 3. Like, um, HTTP the server 1990. Oh, sorry. Wrong spelling. <laughs> Five fingers. Server. There you go. All right, so I'm going to go over to just verify the IP. Oh, this is still my MacBook. My bad. Okay, great. Uh, clear the screen. I have config just to verify the IP address. Okay, so I can go and download that stuff. Um, the name is CV. Okay, great. Let me go over to my Kali and then wget uh, HTTP. Okay, am I using 1990? Uh, quick verification over here. Then the name is this. I'm just going to grab this. Uh, if this doesn't work, I'll grab the raw file and compile it in here. But let me see. Uh, paste clipboard here. Let me try to download this. Okay, I think I was able to download it. 
ls stack l on this um okay maybe i may have to ch mode uh, plus x on the file um cve okay so i will drop uh pseudo uh pseudo kali let me switch to kali and try to see if i can execute this thing in here cve okay um so probably i'll have to compile this so maybe i'll have to download and compile this in here so great a good way would be to grab the c program i would need everything so let me try to see if i can copy everything over compile then run this okay let me do a quick walkthrough of all i've done um, so i um staged up up dog um took the file from my ubuntu box into the uh roots pktes kali um, directory which is this and um, this is the heat from the server so i've got those files in there and i compiled using the make great so i have that over there now by running the make command so now let's uh drop to a less privileged user and try this thing if it's gonna work on this kali this has just been patched recently so i don't know but let's give it a shot so let's uh sue kali and over here let's see if we can run that binary and voila <laughs> id okay so we've been able to update our privilege to effective user id we can still see the user id scanly but the effective user id is roots if you want to understand more about this check up on our youtube channel we've got videos explaining this so over here we can execute everything we can probably cut the content of etsy uh, shadow file who cares <laughs> All right, great. There you go. The magic. Clear the screen. <laughs> okay, great. So we have everything going on there for Rust. And that works pretty smooth. Okay, I'm going to have to tear this server down, probably because I've been able to expose the, the shadow file. So, um, quick way to fix this. Let me exit this here. The same thing, if I do the ls stack l on etsy, uh, probably, sorry user being pk exec we will see the same problem wrong permission or not really wrong permission in fact we can see the sticky stuff happening there sticky bits pretty um the way it is so a quick way to fix this would be to patch the server if the patch is not available once again run that ch mode um 077 strip of the 05507 Five, five, strip off the execute uh, permission from group and orders or global that will help keep it safe pending when there's a patch but um, I'm gonna exit this and I'm just going to sudo up oh, sorry apps get updates on this server who cares <laughs> and try to fix this thing as soon as possible so this is where I'm gonna wrap up the video um, stay safe on the internet check your linux servers ensure that um, you're free from a privilege escalation vector if you're an enterprise environment you want to run this at work i was actually running this around um, um, the red hat enterprise servers found they were vulnerable and quickly patched them then also checking other servers which is pretty important you have to stay safe and then catch up with uh, do not try to do catch up with security you need to be a step ahead which is very very important and build that layer of security as a better defensive mechanism to stay in safe thanks for your time and see you in the next recording bye